BoxingVoice.com, Sean Sattel here with former champion of the world, Ishay Smith. Ishay, what would you think of Ward Kovalev to? Uh, inspiring, man. Uh, I've been knowing Dre uh, since he was an amateur, since he was somewhat of a, uh, a kid coming around with me and Diego. And to see where he is today is, is inspiring. He's a powerful, uh, powerful man of God and uh, is it, just totally uh, inspiring. What a just a, a remarkable. I'm, I'm speechless. Now, using that great boxing mind you got, what'd you see through those the eight rounds while that fight lasted? What was taking place in that ring? Dre is just a special talent, man. Uh, like I said, uh, it's very rare. I become, I be, I've been around this game. I've been in this game 17 years, mm -hmm. and there's not a lot of fighters I could say have left me uh, speechless. Mm -hmm. I mean, Roy Jones used to do it back in the day, and um, Floyd Mayweather. And, and Dre's just one of those guys where he just rises to the occasion every time I'm out and just leaves me speechless. And, and Diego somewhat too. He used to be in wars and he used to be like, man, that Castillo fight, you know, he was just always in big fights. And um, Dre is just a, a special, a, a, a great fighter, but just a better human being. Where does he rank among the best of the best that you've seen in the ring? He's up there, man. Um, he's up there. He's arguably going to go down probably as one of one of the best uh, light heavyweights, super middleweights of all time, and uh, he's up there. Like I said, it's just speechless. I, I think about uh, being around Jay Prince and, and Tony back when Diego was alive and fighting on those undercards and seeing him around and not knowing really who he was, and then for him to go off and win the gold medal and. Um, just speechless, man. Uh, it, it just, uh, like I said, a, a great fighter, but a better man. Now, for a guy who coming in at about a 50% KO ratio, how did he generate such great power on that right hand? How does that happen? Uh, he just believes. Uh, you know, he, he uh, he's a powerful man of faith, and he believes that when he gets in that ring, he's going to accomplish everything he can accomplish because of his faith. And like I said, it's just uh, truly remarkable seeing that kind of faith uh, from him and, and that kind of belief from him and everything that he's executed uh, as a professional fighter and just as a man in general. Like I said, totally inspiring, man. What'd you make, what do you make of uh, main events, Team Kovalev uh, protesting that punches were low? What do you think of that? Man, belt line is not considered low. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. um, the belt line's not low. The right hand wasn't a low blow, so... It's boxing. It happens. You know, I've got hit with low blows. Uh, you know, I've hit people with low blows. It's happened. It's boxing. But everybody knows belt line isn't isn't low. So he just uh, he did a tremendous job. If it was reversed and it was Kovalev and War was on that crime, War was on that end, they would be t they would be singing a different tune. So just give the man his credit. Give the man credit where credit is due. Why, why do you feel like people would uh, would be holding it against Ward more than they are Kovalev if it was the other way around? Because they would just be saying he's crying. You know, this is the same guy that has taken criticism for being scared of Triple G. And now we see why Triple G wanted no part to him. Now we see why Dre was saying, I wanted to make the fight. I wanted to do this. They didn't want to make it. Who are you going to believe now? I mean, he's a powerful man of faith, a, a man of God, and I respect him 100%. I've been knowing him for many years and uh, I'm proud of him. I'm proud to know him and uh, just like I said, speechless.